Matthew Pettit is billing this next recipe a healthy-ish flaxseed brittle. Here's what you'll need. Some margarine, vegan, coconut sugar, maple syrup, a pinch of salt, a pinch of za'atar seasoning, and flax seeds. So it does sound healthy-ish, Matt. It actually sounds really good for you. How do you start? Healthy-ish. That's like, that's just the theme of 2020 so far for me. So <laughs> I agree. Twi you know, healthy-ish. Let's make it easy, simple, and fun. You know, we've had our beautiful hot toddies. We're moving into a nice little snack, healthy-ish. So easy, simple. As you know, I love to cook savory. Baking and desserts trays are not my favorite thing. I don't mind doing them, but I just... They can be time consuming and crazy, so let's make our life easy. So we're just gonna move everything over. We've got our stove top ready to go. So how about print peanut brittle? Let me ask you about peanut brittle. Is that are you a, are you a fan of peanut brittle? Like the classic sort of like, you know, bake bake school good peanut brittle? I'm a big fan. I don't know how I would live my life if I was allergic to peanuts, and I feel so bad for people who are because I love peanuts, I love peanut butter, I love anything peanut related. I'm nutty for nuts. Love them. I wanted to make it sort of something that, again, because you brought up a good point in the fact that there is so many peanut allergies and nut allergies. So this is something, you know, omit the nuts. We have flax seeds going in this, and this is a bit of a brittle as well, where we're not putting baking soda in, so it's not gonna rise. It's just mm -hmm. a nice thin brittle that we can put in the fridge quickly if you have to put in the freezer as well. So you'll see it all comes together really, really quickly. So in a saucepan or a stovetop little uh, pot itself, I'm using two tablespoons of margarine. And the reason why we're using margarine in this is because we wanna keep it a little heart healthy in this situation. Uh, you know, we've got some good canola oil in there bringing that together from a vegetable standpoint. I know people always say, oh my God, you might be cooking with margarine. But Tracy, you know me, I like to change it up a little bit here on City Line. Coconut sugar. So palm sugar from the sap, beautiful, really nice. A um, little bit better in terms of brown sugar and so forth for you as well too. I always want people and all of our watchers and our viewers, get out there, experiment with some new flavors, new sugar, stuff that you might not be used to. So have some fun with that. Coconut sugar's in. We've got, that's two tablespoons in there. I've got a half cup of good old maple syrup. So that's going in. Canada's finest in there. Uh, a pinch of uh, sea salt. We just want a little bit of savoriness there because we've got a lot of sweet. We're gonna go with our Zatar seasoning. You can find it in your specialty seasoning shops and, uh, and have some fun, right? Get creative. I wanna put in my flax seeds after. So I'm ending them just so they don't burn. We just wanna bring that together for about two to three minutes, uh, give or take roughly, depending on how hot you have it. And I wanna add my flax seeds right at the end. We're just gonna rip this all together. And what I wanna do is we are gonna pour that. I have a parchment line baking sheet. I'm using re reusable parchment paper, which is great. We're trying to cut down our single use papers and plastics, of course. So that goes right on. That's just beautiful, by the way. Let's get this right in the oven, which is great. That's just gonna set aside. Now, we've made one ready to go, of course, here too. So let's pull this out. I've got it coming out of the freezer so it's nice and cold and crisp. Look at this. This is just absolutely amazing. This is fun. This is brittle. This is when the kids can help. And you just wanna smack it, <laughs> you know, smack it around. Like, look at this, oh my. That's just that a good. big piece of brittle that we can just get our teeth into, right? Is it sweet at all, MDP, or is it full-fledged savory? There's a balance there. I think if we're not using something like a za'atar or a savory seasoning in there, it's just gonna be a maybe a little too high. Yeah. Uh, in terms of sweet. Yeah. That's a, that's a knockout. That's a perfect, perfect snack. You know, and it's also maybe not too much sugar before bed. Or at least we tell ourselves that anyway. That's right. You can have it before bed with your hot toddy. You can have it as a great uh, mid-morning snack as well. Uh, it's sweet and savory, so it works for me any time of day. Matt, thank you so much. As always, you're going to find his recipe on CityLine.TV. Uh, you'll find all of his recipes and all of our chef recipes there.